Hey everybody, this is Doctor Who, this is season 13, this is episode 5 and this is part 3 of The Brain of Morbius. Let's go. I just want to help. What are you doing here? Oh, I... Head I voice. Watch. Some... You shouldn't be in here, oh. nobody's allowed in here. Morbius. His head is perfect for the purpose. Once I have it, we can begin a time our final operation. If the head is suitable, why haven't you already started? I'm a once more physical entity. Imagine how you will see yourself then. Think how it will be then. Oh, and I think of nothing else. And dream the greatest dreams in history. And now subjected now to living in a jar. To a condition where I envy a vegetable. They are waiting. And by sunset, he will be dead. <laughs> Good girl. Open this door. Uh, this enchanting is actually quite creepy and unnerving, and From I don't really form, like it. You have been granted the gift of eternal life. That was the last. Message, high one, brought by Solon's servant. <laughs> the doctor's coming. The doctor is returning. Be ready. Warn the guards. <laughs> I like the little salute that they do. Ding dong. <laughs> I need some of your elixir. At last you Still can wear the neck. myself. Sarah was blinded by the ray from your ring. I need the elixir to restore her sight. Hey, well, thank you, ladies. That's really all I cared about. <laughs> you have been condemned to die. Oh, I'm not going through all that again. If I wanted to steal from you, would I come in through the front door? Morbius was a time lord. Oh, that name again. I tell you, I saw his execution. I saw his body placed in the dispersal chamber. The army he brought to Khan was the scum of the galaxy. He promised them the elixir of life and immortality. Morbius betrayed our secret. Innocent. Until proved guilty, those spaceships might just be passing. No, if I'm going to help you, I must insist upon one thing. Stop doing one. it. Wrecking of spaceships has got to stop. Oh. 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 Yeah, but he's not the doctor I without it, is he? My finger for you to be put to death. But I'd be no use to you, dead mother. Eyes outside the sisterhood. I've ever looked upon the flame. <laughs> Until <life>. now. <laughs> from the flames causes oxidation of the chemicals in the rocks, and then no doubt a chemical reaction with rising superheated gases. As you have your elixir. Ah. Death is the price we pay for progress, you know. You speak in riddles, doctor. The Time Lords were glad enough of the elixir. Only in rare cases. I'm just going to do this. Bear with me one second. Demon. For oh, you must Brace die. yourselves. I don't think our young guest is going to escape again. <laughs> no, no, that's some not system you've got Master going on there. Oh, Kondo. Perhaps I'll give him your hair as a memento. You're insane, Solon. You're mad. Oh, no. That's what they said. He only needs the head now. I do not yet have the Time Lord's head, Master. What do you mean? He hasn't came back. Time Lord. The Doctor. The Doctor is a Time Lord. But that is why his head is so perfect. I know the Time Lords. Pallid, devious worms. <laughs> you had the Doctor here and you let him go. Do anything to get what they, I, like they both want. You must get me away from here before they arrive. I can't. The support cell can't be moved. I'm dislocating the neural centers. But you can genuinely believe case. that. Yes! Philip Magic in this. Like, his performance is so good. Like, you believe everything he said. There it is. <laughs> no! It can't be done, Morbius! There would be severe pain! There would be seer seizures! Just totally... Oh. What's 
start the operation. God, how precarious. Should have got some Houdini lessons from Pipeway and should have been absolutely fine. Oh, right in the stomach. Well, to be fair, he's already unhinged, so any more damage isn't really going to matter, is it? The last thing you do. The music's like something from a Hammer Horror. Pressure, I said every three seconds, girl. Did you see that? No, that was a she can't see. You see, that? see anything. Anyway, that thing had the twitches since I first met it. Those were random nervous reflexes. That was a definite response. Go on, aunt. You could have to go yourself. What I really like about this story is the whole kind of um, Hammer Horror vibe that it has going on. Like the death of Condor, the music they use for him as well, the whole kind of King Kong type relationship that he has with Sarah in this is just really, really clever and I really enjoy it. And it's such a lovely story to sit and watch. I quite like it because it's a bit darker than some of the ones we've, we've had in this season there's just something about it that kind of keeps my interest quite a lot and it's just something that i find highly entertaining and the performances just kind of top it all off for me as well in this one so i'm probably going to go watch the fourth and final part of this and i will see you guys soon so thank you